Hello students, welcome back to Prakash CBSC. Today we will see exercise 13.2, question number 9 and 10. Okay, so let's get into the question. In the adjoining figure, so diagram is given here, you see the frame of a lampshade. So this is the frame of a lampshade. So it is like a three parts. It is to be covered with a decorative cloth. The form, sorry, the frame has base diameter of 20 centimeter and height of 30 centimeter. A margin of 2.5 centimeter is to be given for folding it over the top and bottom of the frame. Find how much cloth is required for covering the lampshade. So we have to find out how much cloth is required for covering this lampshade. So let's take the given data in the diagram. So this is the diagram it's given. So we can take here part 1, part 2 and part 3. The top and bottom. See here it's given that a margin 2.5 cm is to be given for folding it over the top and bottom. So this to fold only that margin is given. So that's why we are taking the top part as the 1 and here as the 2. Okay. Then find how much cloth is required. So let's take uh, this diagram into three parts. We can split here. So part 1 here is... You can see so height here is 2.5 part 2 height is capital H we are taking 30 centimeter and again because the top and bottom it's mentioned in the question here that's why top and bottom height is same 2.5 2.5 middle that frame height is 30 centimeter that we are taking as the capital H and radius and diameter is common for all the three parts so let's take the given data first given diameter d is equal to 20 centimeter then radius r equal to 20 by 2 if you cancel you'll get 10 centimeter and h capital h is the height of the frame see here the given the frame has base diameter 20 and height of the frame is 30 so height of the frame here we are taking in the middle part capital h so let it be that 30 centimeter and this margin height margin height that we are taking small h is equal to 2.5 centimeter so to find out total area we can use curved surface area of this three parts so we know curved surface area of the cylinder formula 2 pi rh so let's find out so therefore area of cloth Required area of cloth required equal to CSA of top CSA of top plus CSA of middle middle means that frame plus CSA of bottom margin. So all these three parts we are adding here. We know CSA of cylinder formula 2 pi h 2 pi this top h we are taking as the small h middle that frame we are taking that height as a capital H so to show the difference you take 2 pi r capital H and 2 pi r h now if you want to simplify this let's take the 2 pi r common outside then the remaining it will be 2 pi r if you take common outside your h your capital H and here again small h Further, if you simplify, you apply pi value 22 by 7. Radius here we have 10. H plus H will get 2H plus capital H. Now, 2, just multiply this, you will get 44 by 7 into 10. 2 into small H value, here we have 2.5 plus capital H value, we have your 30 centimeter. Now simplify further. If you multiply this, you'll get 440 by 7 into 2 into 2.5. You will get 5 5.0. So pi will get so 440 by 7 35. You cancel this 5 times. So remaining here 440 into 5. If you multiply, you will get 2200 centimeter square. So therefore. 2200 centimeter square cloth is required for
for covering the lamp sheet hope that you understand this if any doubt please let me know in in the comment section you can put it let's get to the next question so here we have the question number 10 the students of your vidyalaya were asked to participate in a competition for making and decorating pen holders in the shape of cylinder with a base so they are making the pen holders in the shape of a cylinder with the base pen holders you know like this it will be the, there you can keep the pen that it is in the shape of cylinder with the base okay then each pen holder was to be a radius 3 centimeter and height 10.5 centimeter then the vidyalaya was to supply the competitors with the cardboard if there were 35 competition sorry competitors then how much cardboard was required to be bought for the competition so they are making the pen holders using cardboard sheets so now we have to find out how much cardboard sheets we required for making 35 competitors each competitors they need some sum okay now let's take the given data first here given data radius is given 3 centimeter and height h is equal to 10.5 centimeter now there are 35 competitors so each competitor making one one pen holders so first let us find out area required means cardboard required for one pen holder then we can multiply with the 35 you will get it for the 35 okay so let's find out now area or we can say cardboard cardboard for making one pen holder okay so one pen holder let's find out then we can apply 35 so pen holder cardboard means we know that curved surface area plus base it is given in the question here you can see pen holder the shape of the cylinder with the base because the top of the pen holder will be open then only we can keep the pens so that we have to find out CSA plus area bottom okay then you will get CSA of cylinder plus area of bottom so CSA of cylinder formula 2 pi RH area of bottom you know the area of bottom it is in the shape of circle see when you draw like this one pen holder in the shape of a cylinder here it will be open so here it will be closed then the bottom of the shape v will be circle means the area of circle formula pi r square now let's take pi r common outside then here 2 h plus 1 r will be there so pi value 22 by 7 or radius 3 centimeter into 2 into h value 10.5 plus again radius 3 now 66 by 7 just multiply this 10.5 into 2 so we will get 21.0 into 3 66 by 7 into 24 so multiply this two and divide by seven finally you will get the answer here is 226.28 centimeter this is for one pen holder okay so one pen holder which means one competitor need this much area of cardboard then how much competitors we have here 35 competitors then we can write then 35 competitors require cardboard equal to so multiply this 226.28 into 35 you will get the answer 709 centimeter square so therefore 
7919.8 cm square cardboard required to be bought for competition thank you so much for watching hope that you understand this if any doubt please put it in the comment section next video we will see next exercise thank you